Hi, welcome to this week's Midweek Connection. My name is Todd Jordan. I serve as senior pastor here at Strawbridge United Methodist Church. I am delighted that you have joined me. In the book of James chapter 3, he talks about the power that words have to build up or to destroy. And he writes this uh, beginning in verse 3, If we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we guide their whole bodies. Or look at ships, though they are so large that it takes strong winds to drive them, yet they are guided by a very small rudder, whatever, wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great exploits. And then this is what he has to say. How great a forest is set ablaze by a small fire. And the tongue is a fire. The tongue is placed among our members as a world of iniquity. It stains the whole body, sets on fire the cycle of nature, and is itself set on fire by hell. For every species of bee, beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species, but no one can tame the tongue, a restless evil full of deadly poison. With it, we bless the Lord and the Father, and with it, we curse those who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing, my brothers and sisters, this ought not be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and brackish water? Can a fig tree, my brothers and sisters, yield olives or a grapevine figs? No more can salt water yield fresh. You know, if I had to um, take responsibility for everything that came out of my mouth, um, I don't know that I'd be in the best shape right now. I am grateful to God's grace, but I'm also at the same time mindful that I do need to be cautious of the words that I say, uh, even in jest. Um, all of us do. When you speak, do you speak for the building up or the tearing down? Um, when you share information, is it news for you to share or is it best kept confidential? Uh, there are so many ways that our words can, can hurt and harm and at the same time, words can build and affirm. So I just would challenge you, um, What's coming out of your mouth? Is it brackish water or fresh? It is, is it a fire of inspiration to build up the hearts of those around you or to tear down and burn down and destroy? Uh, humans are capable of such amazing and beautiful things and such horrible and destructive things. And a lot of it has to do with what comes out of our mouth. So I would just invite you to spend some time in prayer with God, reflect on James chapter three, and ask God, how can God steer your mouth, your words in the right way, uh, so that we can truly bear witness to God's goodness in everything that we say to whomever we may be saying it. Thank you for all the ways that you are praying about this and uh, managing um, this gift that we have of our mouths uh, to be a blessing for others. And I look forward to seeing you in Sunday at worship. May God bless you. Have a great week.